Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Pop la. The third and final movie in author Stieg Larsson's Millennium Trilogy, The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, hit movie screens worldwide this month. So in terms of print screen adaptation, how does the feisty Elizabeth Salander do against the big boys? In book stakes as well as box office takings. No surprise, with seven books in the series, Harry Potter is way ahead of the pack in both copies sold and international box office grosses. The James Bond movies did better than the Lord of the Rings trilogy in total movie sales, but J.R.R. Tolkien's books are doing better than Ian Fleming's Bond. Say it out loud. Say it. Vampire. Stephanie Meyer's Twilight series, Dan Brown's books, and C.S. Lewis's Seven Book Chronicles of Narnia set all scored in both book and box office sales. So has Stieg Larsson's Girl hit the big time yet? While the three books have made the top 10 bestsellers on prestigious lists like USA Today, The New York Times and Amazon.com, The Girl is still far off in terms of box office takings. The first film in the trilogy, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, grossed more than 100 million US dollars worldwide when released in March 2010. The second, The Girl Who Played With Fire, earned just 60 million US dollars when released three months later in July. Respectable figures, but not quite in the same league as the big boys, nor as the big girl, and that would be Bridget Jones, the central character in Helen Fielding's two books that sold just 15 million copies but made a killing at the box office, raking in more than 500 million US dollars worldwide. The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest is currently playing in four Golden Village cinemas in Singapore. A spokesperson for Golden Village said the first week ticket sales are doing relatively well for a film with a limited run. So what did Singaporeans think of the movies? A quick check on the Facebook page for the Singapore releases revealed this. Foreign language films being remade by Hollywood is nothing new. And that's the same story with the Millennium Trilogy starting with the girl with the dragon tattoo. Next up, the American actress who's been chosen to fill Nomi Rapace's big black boots. Hint, she's the reason Facebook was created. 